we're on the 22nd day of the run streak day 22 and we're heading back over to gray's lake today i'm not taking the long way there because i want to see if cutting through town can make that like a four mile run instead of a six and then maybe i'll go around the lake as well we'll see it's pretty cold today 41 degrees fahrenheit pretty windy as well but overall it's not too bad i mean i don't have gloves on I do have a sweater on at this point although in a mile or two i may regret that So good and bad news, start with the bad news. The uh, wind is really strong, so it's gonna make it hard to actually film stuff and get good footage anyway, other than cut scenes and things that I can dub over. But the somewhat good news is I forgot to charge my GoPro battery last night, so I'm at 38%. <laughs> So I won't be doing that much filming today during my run anyway because of that. So this might end up being a pretty short video today. Look at these trees. Look at the fall colors. All right, so we're almost at the lake. Just shooting a little bit of the uh, path here. It's a beautiful path. Good for riding bikes obviously good for running and with it being autumn I mean there's all kinds of different colors here red orange yellow green everything you can think of so we've made it to Gray's Lake here and it took us 2.2 miles to get here but there she is Gray's Lake I think I am gonna go ahead and do a loop around the lake here just because why not? I'm okay with getting a little bit of a longer run in today because tomorrow's going to be a shorter run. Right now I'm just debating, do I want to go this way or there's another path this way? I believe they both just meet up and it's a loop. I know for a fact that that one goes around onto the bridge. This one, it almost looks like there's another bridge that crosses the river over there. I don't know if you could see it. So I'm, I'm hoping if I go this way, I can still get around and go this way. I guess we'll find out. Pretty cool part of the trail. I mean, you got the river on one side and the lake on the other. So a good view either way you're looking. Pretty awesome. Look at that deer print. They're running around. So this is that bridge I was seeing. It goes to the Meredith Trail, but we know the Meredith Trail is closed. That's closed over by Principal Park. Um, the baseball park over on the river so i'm not going up here i'm going this way and we're going to go all the way around the lake on that bridge over there let's get to it right about 29 percent battery here <laughs> it's still hanging in there doing all right though i'm not the only one out running this morning so that's the good news there's other crazy people too i won't be able to capture capture any like virtual run footage unfortunately definitely not enough battery for that a lot of days i carry a spare battery with me but i could have sworn that i charged this thing last night i think the cold is uh making people a little grumpy this morning i've been waving at people all morning I've only gotten one or two back out of like 12. <laughs> so everybody's tired, everybody's cold. It's not even Monday, it's Tuesday, people. Come on. All right, so we're at 3.4 miles. We've made it onto the bridge. So if I'm guessing, the run will probably be right around six miles by the time we get home. Might be a little bit shorter than that, but close to a 10K today, if anything. That's the side where we started on over there, the beach. And there's downtown, obviously, that's where we ultimately started. It's a great view up here, though. Amazing. Amazing view.
All right, so this is pretty cool. We're still at the lake, but this tunnel goes underneath MLK, which is the road I was running on earlier. And they got some uh, lights in here and stuff. Pretty awesome. Figured I'd stop and shoot a quick video from inside the tunnel. Why not? There's the lake out there. All right, we just left Gray's Lake. We were at 4.2 miles when we uh, left, or 4.25. So yeah, it'll be right around 6.3 uh, 6 maybe miles today. A little bit over a 10K. Legs are feeling good though. A battery on my GoPro, not quite. <laughs> not quite feeling the same. It's getting low on juice, I got like 10%. I'm just trying to film a couple more scenes before it's totally kaput. All right, we made it home from our run. While we were gone, Inga made us this uh, nice blueberry cardamom smoothie, so I'm gonna Drink that and get rehydrated, get some calories in, some sugars in. There's our GoPro with the now completely dead battery. It wouldn't let me record anything. Once it hit 15%, it just wouldn't let you record, basically. It just shut itself off um, while I was actually talking into the camera several times. <laughs> so that was awesome. So I'll, I'll put the Strava information up here on the run since I didn't get to recap it um, after the run there. It was 6.4 miles really good run I felt like I was running at a much slower pace than that but I ended up being a, a quicker pace really than I wanted it to be but still overall my legs feel good okay we're gonna make some vegetable broth and we're using the instant pot to do this so there's only a few ingredients here it's pretty simple we're using some water 10 cups total I know there's only four cups in this thing but I got six cups already in the instant pot we're using 10 total just some bits and pieces of different vegetables that I've cut up and froze. I just keep a bag of these in the freezer. Just odds and ends of different uh, veggies that I've cut up over the last few weeks. So in here we got like some celery, onion, there's some tomato, uh, carrots, might even be some mushroom in there. And then to season that we just have a little bit of salt. So we got one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of Italian seasoning, and then one teaspoon of umami seasoning. All right, let's pour in the last of the water here. Let's drop in our seasonings. We're gonna put in our vegetables. Give this a good stir here before we start cooking it. Okay, so I'm gonna cook it on high for 11 minutes total, and then we're gonna let it naturally release. All right, now we're gonna strain out the vegetables. I'm gonna strain it into this pot so it can cool in this pot before I put it into my plastic uh, containers to go in the fridge. All right, it's looking pretty good though. It's got some nice color to it. Okay, let's take a look at the ingredients that we're using for dinner. First, for our starch or our grain, we have one half a cup of white rice and then one half a cup of quinoa. If you wanna do a full cup of rice or a full cup of quinoa, you can, but I like the half and half combo personally. And we also have one cup of thinly sliced potatoes, so sliced pretty small. We got one tablespoon of taco seasoning. I like to make my own taco seasoning, but I'm cheating on this one and just using the, uh, the packet. <laughs> now for our liquid, 
we're using some of the vegetable broth that we already made today. So we have one cup of vegetable broth and then we have one cup of these fire roasted diced tomatoes. Basically it's like a salsa more or less. So this is going to give it some really nice flavor along with the broth. All right, so we got all of our ingredients into the pot here and we're just going to give it a stir before we start to boil it. We're going to boil this or bring it to a boil, I should say, and then drop it down to a low heat for about 16, 17 minutes. All right, so here's the finished product. Here is dinner for tonight. Kind of made like a taco salad type of deal out of it. We got some avocado on there, some lettuce underneath, as well as some corn tortillas that I uh, cooked up and then chopped up. Looks pretty good. Gonna be using some of that green salsa on this as well. All right, everybody. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for Vlogtober 25th. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button if you like this video and you wanna see more Vlogtober videos and you wanna see the run streak continue. Hit the subscribe button if you're not yet subscribed and you wanna support this channel. Hit the notification bell if you wanna be notified whenever I drop a new video. Until tomorrow, everybody, take care.